Hi everyone, I recently drew this piece of two toucans, which I named Toucan Play That Game. It's really random because I decided on this name because there was a t-shirt that used to be my sister's, which she gave to me, and I use it now as a pyjama top, and it says Toucan Play That Game on it, and it's got two, um, a picture of two toucans on it, and I just thought, yeah, that, that would be a good name for this piece, randomly. I've been wanting to draw a toucan for quite a long time because I took a picture in, um, when I went to Bird World a couple years ago. It was a really good photo of a toucan. So I decided to use this photo, but I did want to use two, um, have two toucans in the drawing. So I used my reference picture for the right-hand side toucan, and then I found another picture on Pixabay, which is like a copyright-free um website you can get pictures from which is really ideal for artists i'll link the website in the description below if you want to check it out it's got loads of pictures on there that you're just free to use for your artwork um yeah they're royalty free you can just use them for whatever you want and then i combined them two together and did the branch myself i kind of used a mixture of the two reference pictures to kind of get the colors and that from the branch and then the background i just did a blurry background with some like circle kind of effects on it using pan pastels and the soft applicators. I'll link them in the description below if you want to check them out. Pan pastels are basically a pan full of pastel pretty much and you use these sponge applicators to apply it onto the paper. And I'm using pastel matte paper here which is the paper that I always use when I work with pastels. I didn't actually film me working on the background because I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out to be honest. I thought it might be a disaster so I didn't film it just in case I should have really but never mind I have got a video on my YouTube where I did um, a badger drawing and I did a very similar background to this on that video so I'll link that video in the description below because that does talk you through how I created it so then you can see the kind of process in that video which might be helpful to create the background as I said I just used the pan pastels I basically used one green color for most of the background and then I added in some blues yellows and some other green tones and some browns just to make it a bit more interesting make it you know not just plain green because that'd be a bit boring and then there's you can get um a pan pastel which is called a colorless blender so it's basically it's what it sounds like it's just colorless pastel and you can use it to blend other pieces together but i find that it does make when you apply it it makes the other colors a lot um like more pale washed out so i find it works quite well to create these little circle effects which i do use in the video that i mentioned before of the one with the badger which yeah as i said i'll link in the description below so you can check that out and you can see exactly how i create this kind of background i was so pleased to be able to use lots of bright colors within this piece because i when i'm doing my pet portraits most of the time they're like browns creams um, blacks and whites just like basic kind of natural colors and it's not often that I get to use really bright colors so I fully enjoyed creating the beaks on these um, toucans which I did use pan pastels for a little bit as you can see and then I went over the top with the details with some pastel pencils I think for this piece I used just the Faber-Castell pit pastels um, I do have some other brands but that's the one that I use the most and that's what I use for this piece. And for the wings and that of the toucan I did use mostly a navy blue for the base and then I added in some light greys and black and that on top to deepen it up and then add some lighter highlights. Um, they're the main three colours that I used for the wings, I didn't actually use too much, too many colours for to create the body of the birds. The toucan on the right hand side, the reference picture I used didn't show much feather detail so I, I kind of created that using a mixture of other reference photos that were on Pixabay as well just to get some of the feather detail in which I found quite difficult so I was putting off doing the one on the right hand side as you can see I left that one till last but I'm really pleased with how it turned out in the end. The hardest thing when creating this piece was the amount of pastel dust that came off when I was using, when I was create, doing the bodies, the blacks and the um, dark colours, because pastel dust was going all over the background and making it look dull, so I did have to keep going over the top with a bit more pan pastel to kind of get rid of some of the dark dust that had gone onto the background, which was annoying, so that was definitely the hardest thing when creating this piece, but I had to do the background first, otherwise it just wouldn't have worked. So yeah, you just have to be quite careful with pastels. They can be quite messy, especially when using the darker colours, but 
And also it's quite a good idea to have a kneaded eraser because you can kind of dab bits of the pastel dust up, which is really handy. I'm not too sure if I'm going to create some prints of this piece, but I'm definitely going to put it onto some merchandise at some point. At, um, at the moment, I've just got some token greetings cards, which will be cute, and they will soon be on my Etsy as well. I'm just waiting for some more envelopes to come because they didn't. I've got the cards here, but they didn't send me enough envelopes. So I'm just waiting for those to arrive, and then I'll put them up on my Etsy and my website. For the rest of this video, I'm just going to put some music on so that you can um, see the rest of the process. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.